B and McDermott thought a scheme switch would lead to improvement play by Miller. Um, he, he is playing better, but not well enough to put concerns to bed by any means. And the Bills will continue to start with Jordan Mills at right tackle. But the left side of Dawkins and Incognito and Groy would theoretically have to be a solid trio. Missing Incognito not only left a big hole on the left side, but also impacted Groy because the communication and performance of the guards can have a direct impact on the performance of the center. Um, but some other thoughts on the game. Um, so credit to the defense for adjusting and coming to the play in the second half. But they can't keep getting walked over early. The offensive line was bad. Allen looked okay. Good starting point for a rookie who hasn't been getting the first team rest all preseason. The first interception was done. Set, although um, <coughs> it was a rookie mistake. He was being looked like he was being sacked. He should have thrown away, but he threw. But then um, he was he was he threw it and it was it picked off just before it was going down. The second didn't seem like anyone was open. It was just standing in the red end zone. Touchdown of Benjamin was ridiculous. And right now, the, he's operating purely on talent. He doesn't really have any idea what he's doing. If he learns protections and timing, he'll be a keeper. Um, special teams are awful. Um, probably wouldn't matter, but the first fumble, and then the fumble was where um, Jones stripped, River, just to, stripped Rivers as he was tackling him with terrible calls. Just bad officiating. Defensive line looked much better in the second half. Edmonds looked terrible. I mean, I do love the pick. He'll eventually be good, but he's playing so much slower than his time speed. So, I mean, B and McDermott had a pretty lousy offseason. But all things considered, this is going to be a step back year. I'm, I'm pretty... I mean, so far I trust them. I mean, I mean, yes, they made a lot of mistakes. They It reminded me so much of... What Tim Murray or the Sabres just burning assets for Edmonds, for Allen, not addressing the O line. But all of that considered, um, you got Josh Allen looks good. Um, they got some nice young talent. I mean, I think B and McDermott are safe this summer. Now next year, if they if Allen isn't showing progress and they fail to build around him, then I'll start to question them and probably call for their firing. Um, so, I mean, it's it's going to be a rough year for Bills fans, but all all things considered, um, I'm fine with where the team is. I was expecting this bad of a season last year. When you cut loose so many talented players, this is what you're left with. thing is, Bean was brought in here to clean up the salary cap mess the Bills were in. They cut a ton of people loose at once to bite the bullet for one season. The Pagulas were expected in this mess. <clears throat> as far as Allen goes, I am personally not looking for a great performance from Allen this year. I am just looking for improvement from game to game. If this hap if this is happening, then we will have a quarterback. That said, this coach and staff is doing nothing to help the kid. Get him a mentor and a good quarterback coach. I don't I don't know how we're gonna fix the mess this mess if you look at the offense. We have probably have two keepers, Allen and Dawkins. There is no one else on this offense that is more than a backup. I doubt McCoy hangs around another year. The defense is much better with the safety tandem. Hopefully Edmonds and White will, but we could still use a lot of help up there. It's going to take at least two more years to build a team around, even with free agency and 10 picks. Now with all that said, I could see both coordinators go. Maybe Frazier before the season ends, since McDermott's already called a plays. <coughs> Devil's play design is also being called into question. I think McDermott has the right mentality to be a head coach, but he needs a strong offensive coordinator. For me, the jury is still out on Bean. He has issues to correct. I knew it would get much worse before it gets better. I will give him the benefit of the doubt this year, but next year he needs some strong improvements. <coughs> I mean, this, this is going to take a step back, just like what we did with the Sabres. Um, the Bills going to get a high draft pick. So... I hope they use that to fix the old line. But frankly, with this year's Buffalo Bills team, the only thing I really care about is um, just seeing Josh Allen progress. I mean, mo much of these players are not going to be on the team next year. I mean, as, as I just said a, a, a minute a second ago, um, 
the only thing if I, and when I'm watching Bills games for the rest of this year, the only thing I want to see is Josh Allen passing plays and running plays. When he hands the ball off to the running back, I'm not going to care. When they're on defense, I'm not going to care. But the only time I'm going to care is when Josh Allen's throwing the ball or running the ball. Because this year is all about his progress. The Bills are terrible. They're going to be bad this year. I just want to see some progress from Josh Allen. I want the. I just want confirmation that after 20 years of searching that we finally have our franchise quarterback. Um... But it is a bad look for the Buffalo Bills. Vontae Davis quits at hand.